been a world-class record for bullshits. Had to have my sister arrested on my own property. She walked the 10 miles from town. I had to probably taken her about eight hours to come out and plug her cell phone in on my porch. So the sheriffs came out, and she was hiding in the woods, and they almost left, and then she came out right before they left, and then she got taken away and is being charged with trespassing, as hopefully the courts actually do something about this uh, uh, evaluation or whatever they supposedly agreed to do today. Meanwhile, I find out that uh, after I had exposed my opinion on uh, state troopers uh, basically being a racketeering, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, extortion racket, I should say, um, not really serving a lot of purpose. And, you know, the, the guy that caused the accident here a while back, a couple days ago, he, uh, he'd come across a, a fatal accident and the uh, protocol is to park on the, the outside shoulder and he parked on the inside shoulder with his lights on and a semi-truck hit him and then they tried to blame the semi-truck driver for distracted driving, but that's just CYA. So um, I expressed my opinion on this matter and somebody took offense at it and said that their brother was uh, an officer and I said, well, I'm so sorry that your brother chose a, a career with no honor in it. Uh, my children did not choose to have money taken off of their, you know, out of their, their food, off their table. Um, you know, they have activities, they're in high school, uh, this is why I work. So when you're following traffic and doing your best to not speed and then you get pulled over because they're basically profiling your type of vehicle, um, you know, it's a little stressful. And I had expressed the fact that uh, they got two more times of doing this before I suicide by cop. Um, you know, meanwhile, I'm also dealing with the shit with my sister. I'm dealing with the shit with the rest of my mom's side of the family. They're all pretty much going to narcissism. They're all in denial of anything. And that because they're basically there's the, the one part of the family that just they seem to really love a funeral. Like this is the biggest party time for them is to just get all gussied up and see who can, you know, it's, it's like virtue signaling. Like there's like who can mourn the hardest. It's ridiculous. I'm ashamed of it. And uh, then the rest of the family are all just all like, well, I don't know. You didn't even know anything was wrong with anybody. I just didn't even know nothing about nothing. So I just didn't know. And then you're like, well, I do know things about things. And this is what I know. And they're like, well, but how do you know? I don't know. <sighs> so my sister got arrested today. And uh, we wanted to try and get the dog that was supposed to go to her house that my idiot cousin gave back to her instead, which was starving again. And uh, now my idiot cousin has got permission to get the dog, but they're refusing to let us take them, and they will never state the reasons, but uh, basically they seem to think that we're not capable. Uh, we're more than capable. We're probably more capable than the fucking moron that gave the starving dog back to the psychotic owner who was starving the dog. But she said she needed something to hug. That's called enabling. When they give you the, the, the guilt trip, puppy dog eyes, and then you give in and just give them the thing they want, that's called enabling. Enabling is what made this problem to begin with. And every single person on that side of the family that I try and explain this to almost, almost grasps it, almost. And then they lose it, and then they go back to the mumblefuck bumble bumble. What did it mean to you? How do you know? What did it mean me? Meanwhile, starving dog, psychotic sister, I can't do anything about it, and I didn't cause the fucking problem. So since I warned the people that did cause the problem that they were going to cause a problem years ago for the entire time, and they just wouldn't listen, it's not my thing to deal with. And all these people in denial, oh, you shouldn't speak ill of the dead. Okay, but guess what? You also shouldn't speak falsely of people, right? So I'm being honest. Because otherwise, I have to go through my life continuing to, continuing to deny the abuse that I suffered. So that other people who did not necessarily suffer that same abuse from the same person can feel better about the person who did the abusing. <sighs> so then we went to Walmart. It was full of goddamn zombies. And I'm not talking the Halloween kind. I even literally, literally caught non-player behavior, scripted behavior coming from the, the receipt checker at the door. Which, of course, you don't actually have to show them the receipt that she has to ask. So we were going through line, and I picked up a copy of uh, Cowboy Bebop on DVD, or so I thought. It turned out it was Blu-ray, and I don't have a Blu-ray player, so I decided to put it back. I was like, okay, cool. Well, the wife says, I'll go see if they have a DVD copy. I already figured they wouldn't, or it would have been next to it or something. But um, So she went back to do that. Keep in mind, she was the one that was here when the sheriffs were called, and she's been on panic mode all day. It's kind of having a hard time thinking straight. And then she goes and wanders off into gangstalker hell Walmart. 
there were people walking around staring us down. I heard folks talking. There's one of them. Some motherfucker in an Obama Biden shirt and a blue jacket physically like, oh, bumping into my wife. There's fucking six feet on either direction, but he has to bump into my wife. So, um, anyway, she goes back to, uh, to the electronic section to take the thing and I get everything checked out at the, the aisle and go on and the lady says, I need to see your receipt. And I said, okay, here you go. Cause I'm always friendly about it. And so then she takes the receipt and she looks through the cart and says, yep, yep. Okay. Okay. It looks like you got the, and she names off the cat food, like your friskies and yum mix. Okay. And so I said, okay, I'm going to pull back here and wait. My wife's coming possibly with another item I have to pay for. She says, okay. So I pulled back and watched two or three other people come through. And of course they all stopped behind me. And I said, no, no, go ahead. I've already gone through. I'm waiting on somebody over here. And so I stood there and waited. And so everybody kind of just didn't even know what to do. And when they finally did go through, after they were all done and the wife was coming around, I saw her coming down the aisle and then she vanished again. And it turned out she was going to inform the people in the clothing department that the clearance rack was not ringing up clearance. Uh, I don't think they cared or did anything about it. It was like a complete wasted effort. But like I said, she's already spacey. And um, so then she kind of was wandering back or whatever. And so I got sick of waiting and decided to go outside. And so I go to walk past. And the lady says, excuse me, I need to check your receipt. And I said, okay, but you already did. And she goes, no, I didn't. And I said, yeah, because I have the cat food and the milk that was out. And you named off the Friskies and the, the Meow Mix as you were reading it. And she goes, oh, I didn't do that. I have to keep my eyes on, on, on everything here. And, and I have to look at your receipt. And I said, okay, but you already did. She goes, no, I didn't. And takes the receipt out of my hand and looks at it and looks at all the stuff. And I said, see? the meow mix and the friskies and the milks because you already looked at it like i said it just like that like don't fucking argue with me bitch and she glitched she was like G -g 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 receipt please because i need to see your receipt like legit legit drone behavior <sighs> so i still have to go into town after my comment with the uh, state trooper issue yesterday, my wife got pulled over by five, five state pigs all at the same time for a taillight that wasn't even actually out. There's a bad connection in the wiring harness, and there's really not a whole lot I can do. I can change the bulbs, and they might work, or it might work just as well to wrap on the on the taillight housing because it's a, it's a wiring harness, sh harness issue. This is hundreds of dollars and days without a vehicle. And at this point, we don't really have that option. So, you know, it looks like we're getting backed into a corner. And uh, my guess is that today is a good day to die. So I'd prefer it not be that way, but I have to go get the girls from uh, a thing in town. And then later on, I have to go to work. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it should be easy. But uh, I don't know. I just get this feeling that there's going to be some ignorant, poor motherfucker is going to just get in my way, do some dumb, random shit, not even realizing it, and be like, motherfucker, this is the day that I snap. So, anyways, that's how my day's been so far. Uh, my wife came inside and spilled her uh, fast food shake and got pissed off and decided she's quitting the day and went to bed. So, yeah, it's been amazing. And uh, so here's the thing, though, right? I have money in the bank. Bills are paid. Basically, the vehicles are running. They need a few repairs. But, you know, none of what is plaguing me is my fault. None of it was caused by me. And none of it is my responsibility to pick up. It's other people's failures. Other people's inadequacies. Other people's ignorance. But it gets in my way. So if you ever wonder when people talk about the cessation of suffering in the Buddhist sense, I know I haven't been on talking about any uh, transcendental or enlightened items lately. I've been too busy. Um, when I say that ignorance is the root cause of suffering, this is why. This is why other people's dumb fuckery gets in everybody else's way. So even if you know what's up, their dumb fuckery is going to get in your way, causing you to suffer which causes you to snap, which causes them to suffer. So, you know, little lesson on the transcendental nature of life. That's, that's kind of what's up with it. Ultimately, uh, when it comes down to it, we are a bunch of particles misting around in the universe. These human laws are fallacious concepts. They actually don't exist. There's nothing to them. So when people try and use the law to harness you or to enslave you, that's that whole mental change thing that people talk about freeing your mind because 
all of what is plaguing me is the fact that I cannot just eradicate the source of the problems from my life. If I could just make those people into a pile and bury them, then I wouldn't have that problem anymore. But then I would have dudes with fucking guns showing up at my house being like, you gotta get on ground, you can't do that. Meanwhile, I have constantly been the victim of other people manipulating the law to abuse me. So, it's pretty much, I don't know, it's how my day's been. I'm really hoping it gets better. But uh, I, I gotta get out of this negative funk or I will attract what I am uh, putting into the universe. So... Anyways, end transmission.